chair of the Morata Music Hall of Fame. And I'm very excited to be here today. The others have a very, as you all know, the others have a very special place in Rhode Island music history. In addition to being arguably the greatest group in the mid-60s and around these parts, they managed to get a major label record deal while they were still in school. They, they had hit records on the weekend and <laughs> kept going to school during the week and touring in the summer. And in fact, they have two major label record deals. That sets them apart from anyone else in the history of the state in that era. The band was, as you know, the brainchild of Pete Shepley and Mike Brad, but Pete is no longer with us. Um, we found out recently that he passed away, and Mike's out of California, couldn't make it. And there's one other guy that uh, we should mention, Bob Johnson. He was, uh, he was uh, the drummer after you, is that correct? Bass player after John, that's right. He can't be with us today, but we have Step standing in for Pete here, we got Bill Gannon. <laughs> Bill had a band with Pete after the others called the Band Goes. Anyone remember the Band Goes? <laughs> they also managed to get a couple of record deals. In the last lineup, we had this guy right here. He's playing guitar today, Bob Angel. Before I introduce you to the drummer, Step aside, Mr. Distal. Are those drums a thing of beauty or what? <laughs> the drum head has been recreated exactly as you remember it, and in fact, that's the original drum head hanging up on the wall behind Mike. So let's hear from Mike Tyler. <laughs> on the bass guitar, John Costa. And the other singer-songwriter of the others, the great Jim Stout. <laughs> this is probably the only time this is ever going to happen, so make sure you have a real good time. And please welcome the others!
Before we do, we've got Al to do a few things. Oh, Green Goblin! I love Green Goblin! I love Green Goblin! Green Goblin! Green Goblin! I am an East Bay guy. I'm an East Bay guy. Oh, it's Rubber! It's Rubber! This is the time if you're watching the awards show on TV, if you're watching the Emmys or the Oscar, where you hit the mute button. I'd like to thank Harvey Schwartz, Milton Feinstein. I know, I'm crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank a few people for helping us uh, get this thing together tonight. First of all, Rick Blair, um, Music Hall of Fame, who's gracious with the record. And Mr. Members. Obviously, he did his homework, he knew us, and uh, found a few things. All the folks from here at the Met, Jack Rich, uh, who uh, made the place available to us initially, Sarah Lupo, who handled uh, all of our questions and the details, it's so getting nice us in home. here. Uh, Kathy Gavin from the Met, who uh, posted really, the, really uh, the very like fine announcement on their website. Online, so Frank, our oh, sound yeah. tech back there. Tough. It's very tough. You don't want to work this is my dilemma. Uh, Papa Joe Bernardo, the manager really? here. Five, six. Well, you got to shoot the daylight. All right, the fellow who uh, produced that fine flyer, you might have seen, you might have emailed to you, uh, Rob Petrella. Uh, Rob Petrella, you know, he's the guy that did the Rob videographers here, uh, David Santos and Missy Kinski, my niece. Robert Carroll and Andy Smith with a fine article that appeared in the last uh, Thursday's journal about cancer patients. I'd like to thank uh, the Village Drone Shop up in uh, Sidgwick, Rhode Island, Tony DeFusco, for uh, this, this is my 1962 original set of drums. They're going back to my first set of drums. They're for sale. Anybody want to buy them? $5,000. I'm not in front of you. Uh, the music complex and the jam stage here in uh, Pawtucket, where they rehearse. Trust me, all right, I trust you too. Uh, members of the Sal Academy class of '64 having their 50th reunion this weekend. Several of us are here. I'm the Sal boys. Mike Corso for loaning us the AV equipment. He had to risk his life to take them out of his garage. Uh, Bill Gannon for inviting us to perform with him a year ago, which sparked this reunion here tonight. Yeah. Uh, special thanks to the late Pat DeSell, Jim's dad, who saved all this memorabilia for us. He was uh, the mentor for us when we were young kids. He was standing by. Jim's dad, Jim's dad, and, uh, and we all remember him, he was a great guy. Also, the band would like to thank Jimmy for his leadership and his work in preparing the songs, the parts, the keys. Nobody knows anything about music except Jim. We all kind of follow along. And, and Jim uh, it was a challenge for Jim. And, you know, we're like a herd of old cats trying to get us to do stuff. Thank God we had Bill Gannon. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. And finally, all of you who came here tonight, you know, the whole thing was for us to perform in front of an audience and we uh, fulfilled our words and our dreams. Thank you for making us feel nice to be Mike said 19 because he's old, you know. For me, it's like 18. I was a young one. Right now, Mr. Angel is taking over the young scripture. I'm the youngest man, I'm the youngest man. Well, we'd like to finish up tonight kind of in a circle the way we started with the very first record that we recorded. And thanks all of you again for making a tremendous night for us.
So we're going to hang out with you guys.